Right as we learned that Chinese EV manufacturers have found an entryway into the US market through the back door of Mexico, Ford is firing staff working on its electric vehicles. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Ford is cutting jobs, firing more staff, even though it's fired many, many thousands of staff in 2023. Now it's firing even more in 2024 at its F-150 Lightning plant. However, at the same exact time, it is hiring more staff for its third shift for the Bronco and the Ford Ranger. So Ford is ramping down production of EVs, which it loses money on. It said it loses around $34,000 to $36,000 on every single F-150 Lightning that it sells in order to maximize its, well, its short-term returns. It's hiring more staff to put on an additional production line to make internal combustion engine vehicles. Ford is eliminating two of three production crews at its F-150 plant. Two of three, 66% making 1,400 people retire or, or get fired, basically. Ford said on Friday it's cutting two-thirds of the jobs at its Michigan plant that builds the F-150 Lightning, slowing down production of the electric pickup. Now, the unfortunate thing is here, Ford would sell a lot more of these electric pickups if it had have thought through a few things before it actually manufactured them. I think the key one here is it's charging. Charging speed for the F-150 Lightning is not that great. Charging network, not that great. If Ford had have come out and said, you know what, this has next charging now, it does 250 kilowatt fast charging, I think a lot more people would be going, hang on a minute, that could be a good idea, let's buy one of those. But Ford had hundreds of thousands of pre-orders, and unfortunately, more than 70% of orders have been cancelled. That's crazy. In April, Ford will make 1,400 workers at its Rouge Electric Vehicle Center redundant. Since October, the site has been operating on a two-shift, three-crew pattern, with one crew of workers on rotating layoffs. Ford said 700 people, or roughly half the affected workers, could potentially transfer to another plant. But at the same time, Ford has hired an additional 900 staff in order to put on a third shift for Bronco and Ranger production. Now, neither the Bronco or the Ford Ranger is even hybrid, let alone there being an electric option. Other workers cut from the F-150 Lightning plant will be placed in roles in the surrounding Rouge complex, apparently, or other plants in the Detroit area. So clearly Ford is firing even more than 1,400 staff, unfortunately. It sounds like there's a big cut here. The automaker said a few dozen employees could be impacted at F-150 Lightning components plants as well. So it's not just firing those staff, there's more to come um, at components plants. The move corresponds to a downshift in lightning production that Automotive News reported on last month. Ford told suppliers it would slash planned output of the F-150 Lightning by half this year because of changing market demand, moving from a weekly average production number of 3,200 to only 1,600. But Ford's saying they're going to sell more lightnings this year, even though they're going to slash production. I don't know how those numbers add up. Um, manufacture half as many, sell more. The only possible scenario for this is Ford have like tens of thousands of F-150 Lightnings sitting at dealerships. And they're saying, well, we'll move those this year in addition to our current production. But for that to happen, I mean, Ford's gonna to have to offer some pretty decent discounts on old 2023 models. And that would be making a pretty big assumption that there's, what, many, many, many Ford dealers maybe hundreds of Ford dealers that have F-150 Lightnings sitting in dealerships. Apparently, that is actually the case. It's part of the problem here. Still, the automaker hopes to continue growing sales and boosting profitability this year. How do they boost profitability? Sell less electric cars. That's simply Ford's strategy here. This month, Ford adjusted prices for 2024 Lightning models and said it was eliminating two of the pickups trim levels. Ford said the news was just its ability to respond to changing market conditions. And this was on the same day that the CEO of Hyundai and the CEO of Volvo said that demand for their electric cars is through the roof. They said that their future plans involve building more EVs than ever. Now, we are taking advantage of our manufacturing flexibility to offer customers choices while balancing our growth and profitability, said CEO Jim Farley in a statement. Customers love the Ford F-150 Lightning, America's best-selling EV pickup. We see a bright future for electric vehicles for specific consumers, 
especially with our upcoming digitally advanced EVs and access to Tesla's charging network beginning this quarter. F-150 Lightning sales rose 55% last year to a total of only 24,165. Now, in a market of many, many millions of pickups being sold every year, it's a fraction. It's a tiny fraction of that number. The production pullback comes amid a slowdown in EV demand, says Ford, that has prompted them to rethink their ambitious production targets. These cuts have upended suppliers that invested millions of dollars in tooling and equipment to meet Ford's plans. Suppliers have just been told by Ford, uh, bad luck, nothing you can do. Ford has delayed around $12 billion in EV investments and postponed some production targets. The company said it was reducing Mustang mach -E production and postponing opening one of two battery plants planned in Kentucky with partner SK on. Now that could be possibly in order to manufacture a battery plant with CATL, which would produce lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are cheaper and last longer than Ford's existing batteries that it uses. The narrative has taken over that EVs aren't growing. They're growing, Ford CFO John Lawler said in October when announcing Ford's third quarter earnings. It's just growing at a slower pace than the industry and quite frankly, we expected. Now, is it really growing at a slower pace or is it just that there is not enough demand for Ford's electric cars? Well, if Ford is cutting production in half of the F-150 Lightning, if it's firing 66% of its staff, if it's putting on hold more than $12 billion in investments, if it's rapidly, rapidly decelerating its EV plans, then maybe the problem is not so much with EVs. Maybe the problem is the product that Ford is selling. But who knows? That's simply my speculation. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.